Hello there everybody, welcome back to episode number 24 of RGSFC. We are into March now my friends. I'm going into this one, I actually want to show you the calendar. And this is one of the most hectic months we've had so far. So we started off here with the game that's last and we've won that one. 1-0, massive goal from Cameron there. Today we're bringing Hull City at home and then Liverpool at home. And then next episode we've got Man City in the Cup, quarter final of the Emirates FA Cup. And then the Aventus in the second level, we've already got a 3 0 lead from that. Then we've got a bit of a break, well they've probably rescheduled a game in here somewhere, I'm guessing. And then we've got this game against West Ham here, so there's a lot to get through this month. We're going to be playing Hull in Liverpool this episode. Without any further ado, let's show you the boys the team I'm going to be using for this game against Hull. Right then boys, we've certainly been able to rest up in this one, and as you can see, I've absolutely backed out of it there, but that is the team we're going to be using. We've got a Marnie goal, right back Joe Webb, still got Toby Larkin and in there, we've got Oscar and Sonny in CDM, um, then we've got Josh Griffiths, also got Henry Tucker, and then Jack Allen, and then we've also gone ahead and put Cameron up top. We've been able to rest up the bench as well, so the likes of me and like Rob haven't even travelled, we've got scored and Lucas. Without any further ado, let's hopefully get this win against Hull City. A few of the fringe players are giving a chance here to rack up a few goals for themselves. It's going to be a good one and hopefully a goal first. We are certainly known for scoring goals. We've got 66 goals altogether in the league so far, which is incredible considering we've played about 26 games. So yeah, if we continue like this in this sort of scoring form, then we should be able to be good for this one. But Hull City aren't going to be backing now. They're going to be able to see we've got a bit of a weaker lineup on. Maybe they're going to exploit that. They're starting off well here, but Joe Russell's made a good tackle and we, we can recover. Chance here for Hull, they put one in the middle. Oh my god, what a save by Amman. Absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. There was that Obadjo guy who's marked Jack Hannon well so far. I'm talking about pace though. Cameron is now away, but Obadjo just skinned us. And that's what Cameron is doing here to the Hull City defence. He's a little wide. Yeah, and it's gone into the goalie's hands. But Amman there tipped one onto the crossbar superbly. But we've got to watch out for Obadjo on the right hand side. He's doing really well there. Josh Griffiths is in there. And he's got Henry Tucker in here. Cameron flicks onto him. Oh my lord, he just about slashes one wide. A great chance for Henry Tucker. That would have been a lovely goal too. Great back heel flip from Cameron. And there it is, boys. Half time. I mean, we have been doing well, like, but we haven't actually done anything. Like, we've done good play, but we haven't really had a lot of chances, as you can see there. No shots on target. Hull have been absolutely brilliant at defending. We need to try and lock them in the second half because, yeah, I just want the three points here. I thought it'd be a bit of a goal fest. Hull have not backed down though. It's Jack Allen. There's Toby Man. We're looking for a really strong start to the second half here. And Henry Tucker does get one for us. The a goal has been coming certainly from him. He's had a few good chances. Probably had our best chances actually in the game. And just a couple of minutes into the second half, Toby gets beyond there. He's too quick for any of them. And then slammed in on his left foot. He's done well so far, Henry Tucker. How many goals have you got in the league now? Uh, he's got five, which isn't bad at all. We'll take that. Right, we're going to be making two changes here. We're going to be getting off a few of the guys that are just playing the usual team. So we're going to be getting Josh Flay on there. And then we're going to be taking Cameron off here for Jack Lovering. So how that goes. Here's Josh. Moves across the defence here. Can we get Toby Man on the overlap? Toby Man hasn't gone over on the overlap. So Jack Hannon has just ran there himself. Jack Hannon now is company in the middle. And Henry Tucker has another smashing one in there from Cam again. 2-0 to the boys. It's been the Henry Tucker show this time, my friends. Um, this time Jack Hannon does good one on the left hand side, he gets him with that 5 star weak foot and is smashed into the roof of the neck by Henry. That'll do it for now, 2-0 against Hull. We made it harder than we had to, but we have not got the win. And now we can make our final change that we'll see Toby Mann be replaced here by Tad and we'll give him a go at our left back. There's a chance, Jack Lovering, he's got it, 1v1, oh he just doesn't miss them, an absolute dagger from Vincey Wincy. We'll take that on the chin any day and as you can see he goes wheeling way up to the camera, come on Vince. Love that, boys. We get the victory. Look at him pointing at his shoulder. Fox given zero. But yeah, as you can see, I think it was an assist for Henry Tucker. He's certainly going to be getting man of the match there. But look at this jab into the corner. Bang. Both of our sort of like substitute strikers have come up with the goods in this one. Two in the league now. 3 0. Boys, we do not want to lose a clean sheet now. It's a chance for them as well. It's a chance. Oh my lord, they could have scored, but it is full time. And we'll take the 3 0 victory. Um, Amar with a super stop at the beginning. The first half was a little bit dodgy, but the second half, Henry Tucker kind of brought it to life. He does get the uh, Man of the Match award there. Assist went to Toby, Jack, and Henry. And yeah, Vincent also came off the bench to get the goal there. We'll get the three points though, and the three goals. Man, you have been Bournemouth. We never like to see that. But without any further ado, let's get into the game against Liverpool. Now, Rob has just given me a message saying that he's not happy, boss, and that he wants to be played a little bit more as he's one of the best players at the club. I hear you. And Ant has officially declined his contract. That is some beefy stuff right there. So let's go back in there. Um, I think we gave him important last time. So he obviously wants to be a crucial first team player. He's not happy with it. He's happy with a 45k a week in a new four year deal. But he definitely does want the crucial first team player. 
That's cheeky. So then my friends, that is going to be the lineup we are going to be using for this home game against Liverpool. I know a few of the lads are tired, like Sonny, Toby, Cameron, and Lark. All the guys who have basically played last game, but we're still going to rock with it. I'm actually going to get Jack Loving on the bench there, and also Josh Flair on the bench there. And then I'm not going to be taking ja uh, I'm not going to be taking um, Oscar in the squad for this one. Um, anyone else? I'll bring Matt on too. So now we've got a fully fit bench and a relatively fit starting lineup. So without any further ado, let's get three points against them. We've got a little, little Liverpool fans of the team too. Who have we got? We've got Lucas, Cameron. We've got a few on the bench too, like Matt, Harry. There's a few of them. Rather more, so Liverpool are actually currently sitting third. Um, just should have said Chelsea are actually currently sixth, who were having a really good start to the season, actually. We'll see where they finish overall if they do get to that Champions League spot. But, but for now, it's not about Chelsea or Liverpool. It's all about us. We need to knock these throws down. Here's Cameron. He's got Eddie back in here. Eddie now running in. Can Eddie get the goal? Eddie with a chance. He's got Cameron back here. Cameron with a chance. And he rifles one into the roof there against his favourite club. Bang, he doesn't care with the celebration though. He is certainly turning into our talisman at the moment now that we put him right up top there with Robin behind for the long shot. But look at this, brought back. Smash. No chance for Carrius there, however they got. I think it is Carrius and goal there. How many guys have we got in the lead? And he's got a star racking us. He's got against Arsenal as well now. Eight. It's not too bad. It's bringing against all the big teams though, this is good. Rob here spins on halfway. He's got Cameron right through the middle of him. He does play in Cameron now. He's 1v1 with Lucas Slaver and surely has him on toes. Oh my lord, he does. Rob's there! What a save by Carriers. Eddie's still there. He hoits one back in. And the other probably should have settled for the corner. What a chance though. Oh shit, why now I'm in here? We don't have Lark to break them in this time. Good save by Aman. Another chance. They've scored this time. It's that Turkish geezer. We have not conceded in a while, you know. This is fucking weird. Liverpool have hit us. I mean, no one was at the back. I didn't get a cross in time with myself. He took it out nicely. Aman with a superb save, but he couldn't palm out of danger. And it's this guy. What's his name? A Basha Cogli or something. How was that his first goal in the Premier League? He's absolutely class last time we played against him anyway. But they have paid one back, and this is not usual for us. We usually keep clean sheets, but it's going to be a test, boys. It is Liverpool. Got to be able to face it. Right, I've got Sonny in at that front post. Lucas looks to find him. Sonny meets it, and he hits the side netting. Look at the room here for Eddie on this right-hand side. He basically created our first guy. Now he's looking to create another, another pullback. Rob! This time it was Rob who came onto it, not Cameron. It was a different result. Here comes the ball. Sonny meets it again. What a save that is, men on the rebound. Of course there aren't. Unbelievable scenes how we're not winning this game and how they've actually scored at half time. It is 1 1. And that baffles me, to be honest. We've got to get it back in the second half. Obviously, it has been domination, but Liverpool haven't really sat back. They've come out, so it's going to be a good game. I'm really looking forward to continuing this second half. Let's play it. Here's Rob. There's Cameron in the channels again here. He's a little low on energy, but he's still got bangs of pace here. Here is Cameron. There is Rob. And he scores. Rob with the goal there. He was officially the Premier League top scorer. 15 goals, I do indeed now believe. And he, of course, he goes into the corner flag. They are combining fantastically, though. Rob and Cameron there. And as you can see, there they are hugging it out. But as you can see, we are now in the lead against Liverpool. Definitely going to take that. Cameron cuts inside here. It is a lovely ball through off. So I think Lovren got a loon trying to come to Cameron. He slides it through. Carriers. It's 2 1. Right, these two players certainly need to depart, my friends. So we're going to be getting Jack Lovering on there again, or are we? Now, you know what? We're going to be getting Harry on there and sticking Rob up front now. And we're going to be getting Sonny off here for Josh Flay. Let's see how that goes for now. Chance here for Eddie off a short free kick. Eddie now has Harry in there. Harry's going to get there, and he's hit the crossbar. Absolute joke shot. How the fuck has he missed that against his favourite team as well? Really should have been a goal. Good, great chance. Missed. There's a chance here for Liverpool. They've got a free kick in a decent area here. I don't particularly like it. Firmino's whipped one in. Mane's up there. I think that's Josh who gets it out. They've got it back in there. Oh my lord, a block. What a block. Is that from Lark who got down well? Liverpool aren't done yet, though, my friends. I think we definitely need that two-goal margin. We are going to see this one out. They've won another knockdown. It'll come back to Mane here. He's hooked one back in. Toby isn't the tallest, but he's really well there. It's not gone yet, but Rob makes sure it is. Right, it's getting all a little bit tense at the moment. We're going to be taking Sam off here and getting Jack Tompkins out on that left-hand side. He's going to be able to track back massively for us in these late stages. Come on, Jack Tompkins. When you just charge down this left-hand side, go all the way. They're not exactly going to keep up with him. Surely he's gone all the way now. It's a great chance in the middle here. Is that for Lucas? It is for Lucas. What a save on a goalkeeper. Is there a chance? No, there isn't. It's a corner. Big save. And there it is, my friends. We have won the game 2-1. Two, two massive victories in this episode. The whole one eventually came up as a huge success. And this one, the man of the match award, ends up going to Cameron there with the goal and the assist there. And Rob got a goal, of course, in there too. Very, very pleased with the result, my friends. Um, Eddie got the assist for the first goal too, by the way. 
But yeah, let's do a bit of training and then we'll meet you boys when we're doing the outro. Turns out we don't have enough time for training, but we are actually going to be able to do... Um, see if Anders actually accepted his contract, that's all we're going to be able to see. Um, and we've got Germany and he has. Germany we're never going to take, they're just twats, aren't they? So yeah, get right to Germany, but... Um, we have now got these huge games next episode, which I cannot wait to play. I'm not going to lie to you boys, they are going to be huge. Drop a like on this one if you enjoyed it, and yeah, it's been ep absolutely epic once more. Leave your thoughts and comments actually down below, but for now, drop a like, and yeah, peace out.